I am standing at the Four Queens Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas. One thing lots of people who visit Las Vegas don't realize is that they have one of the most classic and romantic restaurants in the Vegas Valley. And it's right here at a place called Hugo's Cellar. This restaurant plays an important part in Las Vegas history because it's been around for decades. They're known for having high quality food and the romantic touch they add to this place is that every lady who comes in is given a rose for dinner. So if you come to Vegas and you're not necessarily a fan of so many of the more recent changes that have happened in Vegas over the years, a place like Hugo's Cellar is one of your better bets to get that classic Vegas feel. And for those of you folks that are 50 and older, this will definitely bring you back to a time when Vegas was in its early years. And today I brought a date. Hey! Guys, this is Natasha. So I brought her for the video today, particularly those of you that are 50 and older. I brought someone who, although she, everyone's gonna look at her and say, what does this 29 year old know about the old school stuff in Vegas? Go ahead, tell them how old you're. 50. She is, she is a big five. Oh, so <laughs> brought her cause she fits the theme perfectly for this video. So we're gonna see the amazing outfit she put on to eat at this classic restaurant. And then we're gonna go sit down and have a great time, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. First impressions, because this is my first time ever being inside of this place. It's yours too, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. So I called, I made the reservation under a different name, but the guy recognized me when I first walked up here. But nonetheless, when you walk in this place, from like the brick wall layout they have, of course the rose is a nice touch, even like the furniture. This is like going back about 50 years in time. This 100% feels like an old school classic type of place. What do you think? I feel very good fellas as. <laughs> And the, and the service are all just very nicely too. They're all like, this is more of your upscale spot. You don't have to necessarily dress really upscale for it, but if you want to have an upscale night, like the staff here definitely sets that kind of mood. So Regina Hall and I are just, I mean, <laughs> Natasha and I just went ahead and put in our appetizer orders. So we're getting the signature lump crab cake and also the Hugo's Hot Rock specialty for two. So this is medallions of filet mignon, ahi tuna, shrimp, breast of chicken. But the first, first time here? Yes, first time. Huh? Nice we got old school. I've been here 39 years, I can't even catch so a buzz awesome. anymore. Whatever you want. Yeah, that's it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Your I like that. Oh my goodness. Like it. it's great. Golden Eye Pinot Noir is so good. It was so smooth, like it just hits your mouth really nice. And it's light and it's not sweet at all. It's dry and it's like kind of hints of like a currant kind of. And you can taste kind of like a a little bit of a chocolatey feel, but really smooth. Love it. It's just so good. So they have this bread here. I forgot the name of it already. They bring you several different types. Do you remember what it was? It looks good. It's like a cheese, kind of a crisp bread. They do. It is. It's a real crisp bread. It looks like it's got cheese on it. That's what it kind of Melted. looks like, but it's really, but the taste of it's not that strong. So like you, Sesame seeds. Yeah, like you can bite into it. I mean, once you bite into it, yes, you can feel the layer on top, but I would say the flavor is not that strong. I was expecting more of like a cheesy kind of like, almost like maybe a, yeah, cheesy or even a Parmesan kind of flavor. But no, nah, I would say the taste is really not that strong in it's this. It's like a flat, crispy breadstick. Right. This is a French 75 champagne cocktail and they made it special for me, so I'm very excited. And you can tell the champagne's good because of the way the small little bubbles are on there. And it's got the lemon twist, so they put it in the perfect glass that keeps the carbonation up. All right. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Now I like my champagne cocktail not sweet, dry, so it's good. Really nice and dry. And it does have a, I can taste a lot of lemon. In it. You definitely won't get this butter in my house. <laughs> <laughs> the place can actually hold about 165 people, so depending on where you're sitting at, it looks kind of small, but it goes a little deeper than you would think. There's no restroom down here, so you just have to go back on the casino floor to use the restroom. Plenty of tables that can hold anywhere from two to four people. They do have a couple areas where they can do about eight to 12 people comfortably, so if you're in a little larger group, you can do that. But anything above 12 is going to be kind of difficult, just so you know. We have for you some wonderful appetizers. Hey, thank you, sir. Oh, wow. 
signature lump crab cake, as well as a little lemon on the side. Yeah. Wrapped in cheesecloth so you don't have to worry about any seeds. Oh. And then we will make the Hugo's Hot Rock. So I have a granite stone here. It's sitting between about five and 600 degrees right now. Jeez. I'm gonna add on a little bit of oil. And then if I may, I'll start off with some garlic and shallots. Sounds good. I'm going to add on beef filet. Also add on some chicken breast. I'm a normal. We have marinated shrimp. Wow. And we have Aki tuna. <laughs> We're going to cover that up just for a moment. This will trap the steam inside, let it cook a little bit faster for you. So far, so good on the appetizer. So I haven't even actually tried the beef yet. So I tried the tuna and the shrimp first. And as far as protein goes, like fish is okay, but I'm a red meat guy, almost always <laughs> over fish. But the tuna was great, the shrimp was great. I tried the chicken and I put some of the, um, the plum sauce, it's sweet on the chicken. That added a nice sweet flavor to it, but just brace yourselves. I put way too much and you will absolutely feel how sweet it is if you put too much on there. And what did you try? I had the ahi tuna and the shrimp. And I had the plum sauce, the mustard sauce. So good. Like the ahi tuna was so perfect. Oh my gosh, so good. And the shrimp was so good. And I like the ahi tuna because I like mine kind of cooked. I don't like it red inside, so it was well done. Like I like it and it's a nice thick piece. It's a nice meaty piece of ahi tuna. Wow, the tuna is, even though it's thicker, you can cut it with a knife or with, excuse me, just a fork, no problem. Problem. The mustard sauce you can put on anything. The plum sauce is a little bit better to go on chicken. And then the Bernays is more so for the beef. So the, the plum sauce was good on the shrimp too, because I put it on the shrimp, I thought it was so Yeah. If you want if you want the sweet flavor, add it, go with the plum sauce, just small doses. <laughs> when you use that, small doses. Yay! Yeah, yeah better. Thank you. Well, oh man, this is tender, just like can tell us is tender <laughs> just by pressing into it. 50 and up people remember tender round me. I'm sure y'all do. Brown I was a tenderoni at one time. Back when Bobby Brown came out with the song in 1980. And she, and she was also also a model in 1996 Jet Magazine. Just saying. Very tender. Very easy to cut. Probably cooked a little on the rare side, so if you like that, hey, cool. I wouldn't say the flavor is really strong, so if you want to give it some more flavor, though, then that sweet sauce. Or the mustard sauce. Sweet sauce. I mean, any of them will do it. But if you want to give it, like, the sweet sauce or the mustard or the Bernays sauce, that'll give it a little bit more kick. As far as the appetizer go, I thought between the ahi tuna, the chicken, the shrimp, and the beef, I think they're all pretty even. So usually I love the red meat, and I'm like... That's like my favorite, but among those four, I would say they were all pretty even. So, I mean, the beef did not stand out to me like I would probably have initially thought. Natasha loved yeah, it. Yeah, I loved it. The beef <laughs> was my favorite. That was amazing because I could taste like the buttery garlic and the way it cooked. Like it was just so perfect. The way it cooked all the way through on that little, like that little thing that was 500 degrees. It was amazing, and it just melted in your mouth. I love that beef. Yeah. Beef was awesome. She loved it. I liked it. I was probably more impressed with actually the rest of the food on there. So the chicken, the shrimp, and the tuna. I'm not going to say I liked it more than the beef, but I was more impressed with those three than I was with the beef. I liked it all. I liked the ahi tuna. I liked the steak, and I liked the shrimp. I didn't have the chicken, but I liked what I really liked about it was that it was on that 500 degree plate. Perfect. No kidding. Oh my god. Wow. 
because it's not too much. It's like a light bread. All right, what'd you think of the lump crab cake? It was good. It was breaded perfectly because it was breaded lightly. It wasn't too much, and the crab was. It had it had a nice flavor to it, and it was thick. It was heavy though, but the the uh, relish, like the peanut cabbage relish, was delicious. Yeah. I didn't think it was very heavy. She was right though. Breaded perfectly, little crunch to the outside, but still moist on the inside, so still had that tender flavor. Cut it with a fork, no problem. And I think now I have to say that I am, so far, more impressed with the seafood than anything else. I'm about halfway through my salad. And if any of you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I am not a huge salad fan, right? I'm a big dude, I didn't get this way by eating salads. But I like this salad. Just the fact they bring it table side is like so cool because I don't know too many places that do that. I don't know any places. Yeah, so I don't know too many places that do that, but it's cool they bring it table side, they make it custom for you, they have 11 ingredients, they ask you one by one if you would like them. So you're not having to get up and go to the salad by yourself, they do that added service for you. and. As far as, you know, I got the ranch dressing on mine, but I got some egg, I got shrimp, I got uh, tomato, mushrooms, and the croutons are big on this thing. So, salad presentation, so far, the flavor of it, I'm enjoying it. Oh yeah, it's awesome. And they had different dressings. I got the Caesar, and I got artichoke hearts. I love artichoke hearts, and pine nuts, and mushrooms. That's so delicious. I think this is a really good place. Like if you first are coming to Vegas for our anniversary or something special, definitely come here. Now if you're from out of town, this place is awesome and amazing. I would stick to some place like here as opposed to going to one of the steakhouses on the strip. I would come here. And then also too, like then you would go party and stuff in downtown. But also, you know, if you're a local, this is a really good place to come. But yeah, definitely if you're visiting, don't go to any of those steakhouses on the strip down here. <laughs> So it's raspberry sorbet to cleanse your palate before they bring out the dinner. So, alrighty. <laughs> here so I got the 16 ounce prime rib cooked medium on recommendation for my server with the mashed potatoes and then the veggies that came along with it and Natasha got oh my god I'm so excited I got steak crab legs saffron rice shrimp broccoli cheese so happy yeah. and I love crab legs and add a touch the butter right that's cool they yes. get the <laughs> if the Raiders win the Super Bowl, I bet on them. You guys can all come to my house and share crab legs. <laughs> Why don't you tell me if you think it's medium, medium rare? It's rare. It's like all red and it looks bloody. That's like hella rare. It does seem pretty rare, huh? I feel like it's gonna fight me. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't have to. Oh, it tastes good. I think it is more rare. This looks pretty pink, doesn't it? talking entrees that we had. So my 16 ounce ribeye was a full 16 ounces, no doubt about it. That thing was massive. So when I actually cut into it though, I ordered it medium and it said medium when they brought it to the table. I think it was more rare. I thought about sending it back, but I'm not that picky. So I ate it as it was. 
The mashed potatoes I really enjoyed because they were soft, but they had a little bit of, um, not like crunch, but the outside had a little bit of a harder texture to it. Plus there were like little chunks of potatoes as you ate it, so it had that texture to it. Not too soft and not too hard either. And the vegetables, I was a little worried about how the vegetables looked, but they did taste better than they initially looked. So ultimately, the meal was a good uh, good entree that I had for mine. Natasha? I got my steak well done. It was perfect. And the crab legs were amazing because they were very meaty. They didn't overcook them and they also uh, cut the shell in half. So it was really easy to get the crab meat out of the shell. And also they did the drawn butter that had the, uh, the little light on it so it stayed hot throughout the whole time. The shrimp was delicious. The steak I got was great. I got um, the saffron rice and it had a very nice spice to it. It kind of reminded me, it had that flavor of like a fried rice, but it was good. Like a fried rice, but much lighter. And I took some of his steak and I don't, and I only like my meat well done, but his was rare and it was so good. Like I never liked a rare piece of steak. The steak here was amazing. You guys ready to see the total? Not cheap. <laughs> so to overview the restaurant here. So talking about the whole place, you know, it's like lots of dinners in Vegas is not going to be cheap. You can probably find steakhouses on the strip where you're going to pay similar even more than what you're going to pay for something here. Earlier when I was talking the previous segment, the server came by after the camera went off and said he heard the part about the steak being undercooked. He did apologize for it, said he wished they had a chance to make up for it. I said, hey, it wasn't a huge deal. Obviously, ate the whole thing. So, you know, if there is some kind of issue, they, they will go ahead and, you know, fix that for you if you bring it up to them. But even for dinner like this, you know, it's going to be nicer anyway, and you're probably going to pay more of a premium. But the thing about this place that's unique is like all the little touches they add along the way. So from, you know, just the rose they give the ladies in the beginning, and you can put it in the vase, take it with you when you're done, to the raspberry sorbet that's free with your meal to the strawberries with the whipped cream that's free with your meal as well the warm towel they give you when you when they bring the strawberries out the salad they make at your service at the side of your table here so you don't have to go and make it yourself i mean lots of those little things are like things you're not going to find at lots of other steakhouses so what do you think it's a life experience here. Like this is something that actually, this is a memory, it's special. So it's, you know, you spend money on whatever. Say you spend money on a Gucci purse. Are you gonna remember that? But you spend money here, this is an actual life experience that you have, that you can be with your family, you can be with people. Because not everybody will experience a restaurant like this. There's only so many that are old school like this. So yeah. And, and one of the unique things is that this place has that classic uh, experience too because it's an older place most of the new steakhouses they're just that they're newer they're chains so yes. it's like they're all one step up from Chili's so you're gonna find a lot of the new steakhouses are gonna be nice and new and modern but if you want the older classic feel this is gonna be one of a handful of options you have here in the Vegas yeah, area and you won't get waited on like here you get waited on they completely stay with you you have several different people that you have somebody for the wine you have somebody for the food somebody from the salad somebody that comes and does the water so just for us we had at least four different servers you don't get that anywhere else yes and they are on top of it <laughs> they're definitely on top of it when it comes mm -hmm. to checking on you at your table in addition at the end of the whole thing the thing that surprised me the most was actually the seafood and i'm not like a huge seafood lover but the seafood here was the thing that caught my attention the most as far as the quality and how tasty it was i like the meat too but the seafood surprised me a couple other things to remember if you're going to eat here they do validate your parking the dress code here is more business casual, so it's a little bit nicer place, and you are going to want to make reservations. Remember, the capacity is only about 165 people, so you are going to want to call and make reservations ahead of time, at least a day or two, if you're going to want to have dinner here. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.